everyone, Prof Cruz here with a tour of a porthole ocean view cabin on the Norwegian Sun. This is cabin 4021, located on deck four forward. And I'm actually entering the cabin for the first time myself, so we can explore around together. Um, I have sailed on this ship twice before, uh, once in an inside cabin and once in a picture window ocean view cabin. Uh, but this is my first time sailing in the porthole cabin and I'm actually surprised at how large the porthole is. Uh, I was expecting it to be much smaller than this, but it's a fairly big window with a really nice view. So this is the main sleeping area here. I have this set up as one bed because I'm sailing solo, but you can have these separated into two separate beds. And then you have this uh, little sofa here that can turn into a third bed if you're sailing with a third passenger. Just want to point out on both sides of the bed, you do have a USB port and a little reading light here that turns on. Coming over to the desk area. Hi. I'm taking a look at outlets. I always, that's one of the first things I always look for. So it looks like we have one European style, one American style here on the desk. Um, and then there's another European over in the corner, but it looks like just one American outlet. So you may want to bring some extra outlets with you. I assume this is the mini fridge. It is, it is stocked with a few items for purchase. You can take those out. So you have room to store any items that you'd like in there. Several drawers here for storage. My chocolate covered strawberries for being platinum. Here you have your safe and some shelving. Some additional storage area up here with a few cups. Nice flat screen TV. Let's check out the closet. It's a little tight in here, but I'll try to give you a look at this. So nice space for hanging items. Looks like these pull down if you'd like an extra shelf in here. And I'm gonna swing around so you can see the other side of this. Some shelving, some basket shelving below. So fairly decent storage, I would say. Coming into the bathroom. So these um, bathrooms on the older NCL ships always remind me of hospital bathrooms. They're very sterile looking, um, but thankfully the food and the view is a lot better on a cruise ship than in a hospital. Um, one other thing I always laugh at on these older NCL ships, this is the hair dryer. And you'll definitely want to budget an extra three or so hours to uh, dry your hair in the morning because they do not have a lot of power. So I actually packed my own hair dryer this time knowing that. And if you have a nice, um, small, powerful one, a little travel hair dryer, um, I would probably recommend bringing that. So yeah, this is just a typical NCL bathroom. Um, in the shower, you have your body wash and your conditioning shampoo, uh, which I will say does not offer a lot of conditioning. So definitely bring your own if you require that. Let me just come back out, make sure we didn't miss anything. Like I said, I am cruising solo this time, so I think this room is going to work great for me. It's gonna offer plenty of space and uh, plenty of storage. And again, I do like the nice big um, porthole window. It is larger than I expected, so I'm pleased with that. All right, I am gonna provide a full review of this cabin on the website, profcruise.com. So check that out. Uh, signing off for now, bye everyone.